Hello, fourth graders. Mr. Teets here. And uh, this will be our first lesson of the week, working on a new genre. And uh, the last genre we worked on was historical fiction. And what we're working on this week is called realistic fiction. Now, all genres have certain features or characteristics, things that make them that genre. With historical fiction, it was a made-up story, but it was based on a true event. Realistic fiction is a little bit different as far as what the characteristics of it are. Okay? One of the first things that we need to talk about as far as the characteristics of realistic fiction is what is called point of view. Now, I'm guessing at some point your teacher has talked about point of view as far as there being a first-person point of view and a third-person point of view. And realistic fiction stories are told in one of those two points of view. A first-person point of view is when the main character is in the story as well. That's where you might hear words like I, me, we, us. And you'll see a lot of quotes in it as well because of all the dialogue going on with the person being in the story and telling that story. Third person is when the point of view is being told, the story is being told by a narrator who's outside of the story. So, first person, the person is in the the person telling the story is in the story, and third person is being told by a narrator outside of the story. That is one important characteristic of realistic fiction. Um, one thing I should have mentioned before is that fiction means fake. A lot of times when we talk about fiction or nonfiction, sometimes it's easy to get them mixed up. But if you remember that fiction is fixed, also starts with an F that can help you remember that fiction stories are made up. They are not real stories. The next characteristic that I want to talk about is the setting. Now, in realistic fiction, there is always a distinct setting. The best part is that there's always a familiar setting, meaning this could take place at a school. This could take place at a house, on a soccer field. Because it's realistic fiction, these are stories that are told that could happen in real life and may have happened to you in real life where you've had experiences just like that. So the setting of a story is when is the where of the story and the when of the story as well. So there could be one that's from 100 years ago, but it could have happened. One that could happen today, same thing. So the next characteristic is setting, the where and when of a story. The next characteristic of realistic fiction is characters and studying the characters. What we know about the characters in a story, we can tell by their thoughts, their feelings, their actions, and how people relate to them. And when we get an idea of who the main characters are, that helps us understand better what's going on in the story where we could comprehend what's going on better that way. And studying characters is, is a very important part of realistic fiction. The next characteristic of realistic fiction is conflict. Now, I'm guessing most of you at some point have had a conflict, especially if you have a, a, a sibling, a brother or sister. What a conflict is, is a fight or a struggle or a difficulty. Almost all realistic fiction stories happen where the main character has some sort of problem or trouble that they need to learn to deal with. And that's a big part of realistic fiction as well. That's where the story then turns to how do they solve that conflict? Do they have some help? Do they have to do it themselves? Um, the conflict could be with a conflict within themselves where they learn about themselves and if they can work hard enough to achieve something. It can be a conflict with nature. Maybe for anyone who's read the I Survived books, a lot of those are conflicts with nature, like the Joplin tornado um, and uh, Mount St. Helens eruption, a volcanic eruption. Uh, Vesuvius, I think, was, was one of the I Survived books as well. 
And so there could be a conflict with nature. And then there could be a conflict with other characters as well. Maybe there's uh, someone on a, a certain basketball team and they play against a different team and there's someone on that team who's really good and there could be a conflict there and how that gets resolved then as part of the realistic fiction. The last characteristic that I will talk about is the solution, right? So if there is a conflict, obviously, we hope that most stories have a happy ending to it, and the resolution is how the character solves their conflict or how they get past it or, or how they can move on from it and, and achieve what their goal is, what they're trying to do. So the elements, the characteristics of realistic fiction that we'll be paying attention to is the point of view, which is first person and third person, and you can see that right here. The story is told from first person or third person point of view. Then there are characters, studying the characters. The characters are people like that you might meet in real life, of course, being realistic, and we'll study the characters as well. Then there's an authentic setting, authentic meaning familiar, like I told you before, like a school, like a house, like a soccer field, just as examples. And then there's always a conflict and a resolution, and that's the last box right here, okay? So those are the main characteristics that we will want to be paying attention to throughout the week. Point of view, characters, setting, conflict, resolution. And when we can better understand what to look for, we'll have a better understanding of how to under read and understand realistic fiction. All right, what we're going to do now is move on to the questions here and help us talk further about that. Um, sorry that today's lesson is just a lot of me talking. There won't be an assignment that goes with it, but there will be assignments with the rest of the week. So first text box that I will do here is what is realistic fiction? Okay, and realistic fiction as we can talk about. This text box has never worked well for me. Now let's cancel that one. Let's delete it. And let's do a text box again. Let's click. And we'll move it over. Oops, sorry, folks. All right, text box. What is realistic fiction, right? Realistic fiction is it's a genre that features let me make this a little bit bigger for you. It's a genre that features characters and plots, plots is like overall what a story is about, that could happen in real life. The settings are authentic, meaning places that you have been and that you, things that you have done in those settings. Good. And the main character has a conflict and has to solve it. Okay, that's what realistic fiction is. Now, what is the purpose of realistic fiction? Okay, I wish I could save my text box, but I cannot. So, oh, there, it did work. All right, let's get a text box again. Put it right here. Stretch it out. Oh, that's not it. The purpose of realistic fiction is to show how the main character 
grows and learns how they deal with success and failure. And we learn that information through their con through the conflict that they come up with. With success and failure. Um, it shows how to build relationships as and how to solve problems. Those are the main ways that the purpose of realistic fiction. We can learn a lot from those characters, right? And actually, fiction can be very entertaining as well. It can be a great story, especially if it's something that you can relate to, right? Now, the next question says, how do you read realistic fiction, All right? Now, with reading, like anything else, of course, you read the words that are there in front of you, and we, what we want to do is to read it to get the most meaning out of it that we can. Okay, and so to read realistic fiction, what we want to do is we want to be focused on the behavior of the main characters. We should ask ourselves, why is the character behaving this way? Can I learn from his or her struggles? Those are the in, that's the main information that tells how to read realistic fiction is to get that message from there to be able to connect to it which will then help us better understand it. The next one is who writes who tells the story in realistic fiction. And the person who that could really be anyone who has a story to tell, right? So as far as who tells the story That can be anyone who has had interesting experiences. Anyone who has a message to write about. It could be you. You know, anyone who has a realistic fiction story is someone who has had an experience they'd like to share, something they learned, and things like that. So, those are the ways that we can look at realistic fiction. If you get anything out of the lesson today, just know that the rest of our lessons this week will focus on the characteristics of realistic fiction, which are point of view, characters, setting, and then conflict and resolution. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye now.